Back home after a very exciting conservative party conference. I've certainly never been called a mystery blonde before. Uh, but it was a really good conference and what was great was the number of sessions and debates devoted to looking at how we can close the gap between North and South. So I took part in lots of discussions looking at how we can uh, level up education and skills, how we can make sure our towns aren't left behind anymore by cities, uh, looking at how we need to invest in infrastructure. The government's committed £25 million to Stocksbridge for regeneration uh, and it was a privilege to be in the audience for the Chancellor's speech where he announced £220 million for buses which we vitally need in communities like this to connect our towns, to connect us with jobs and services and hospitals. What really struck me about the Prime Minister's speech on Wednesday, well apart from the kangaroo testicles, uh, was when he said that talent in our country is evenly distributed but opportunity is not. And I believe that's true. At the moment we have a very imbalanced economy in the UK with opportunity and wealth concentrated in the South East and in cities but that's not right and that's why I'm so excited that the government has recognised that is committed to investing in the north committing to, committed to leveling up our opportunities and our education I've lived uh, within a five mile radius almost my whole life and that's true for lots of people around here we love the place we live we love our communities uh, we love our homes and our surroundings and social mobility should not be about having to leave the place you were born and the place you love to find opportunity we need opportunities where we are we need those high skill jobs we want to become a northern powerhouse again and that's why i'm standing as a conservative and as the prime minister said as human beings i believe that we all have equal dignity importance and worth and if I'm elected as the next MP for Penniston and Stocksbridge, I will work hard to make sure that we do have those opportunities here in our communities, that we do have the infrastructure we need to connect us, that these are fantastic places to live and work both now and for generations to come. Uh, my mother taught me one thing, she, uh, she taught me, well, many things, but she taught me to believe strongly in the equal importance, the equal dignity and the equal worth of every human being on the planet. And I, that may sound banal, that may sound banal, that may sound trite, but it is not, it is not. You have to understand that and, and believe in that.